In this presentation, we will understand logical not with conditionals and data types. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is logical not with a Boolean value. The second topic is logical not with a string. And the third topic is logical not with a list, dictionary, or tuple. Let's get started with the first topic that is logical not with a Boolean value. If the Boolean value is true, then the not operator returns false. So, if it is the case that the Boolean value is true, then in that case, not operator returns false. Otherwise, the not operator returns true. So, not of true is false and not of false is true. In order to see this in action, let's consider one simple example. Let's say that x is false and we want to apply not operator on x. But we will apply not operator on x within the if statement. So, let's check this condition. If not x, if it is the case that x is false, then this condition becomes true. In that case, we must print x is false. We know that x is false. Therefore, this x will be replaced by false at runtime. And not of false is true. Therefore, the condition becomes true. And hence, x is false will be printed on the screen. Therefore, the output of this program is x is false. So, in this way, we can use logical not with a Boolean value. Now, as we have understood this concept, let's move on to the next topic, which is logical not with a string. If the string is empty, then the not operator will return true. If the string is empty, then only in that case, the not operator applied on that string will return true. For example, Let's say that the name of the person is John. And let's say we will print no name when name is empty. If there is a name, we will print the name on the screen. So, let's first check this condition. If not name, if name is empty, then in that case, print no name. Otherwise, print your name is name. So, eventually this name will be replaced by John. We know how f string works. An f string is a string which consists of the normal string and the variables that we want to output on the screen. Here we have this string, your name is name. Within these curly braces, this is the variable name which will get replaced by John at runtime. We know that name is not empty, therefore, this condition is not satisfied because this can only be satisfied when string is empty. Right now, the string is not empty. Therefore, else part will be evaluated and hence your name is John will be printed on the screen. Therefore, the output of this program is your name is John. Now, let's see what happens when name is empty. When name is empty, then at runtime, this name will be replaced by this empty string and not of empty string is true. Therefore, eventually, no name will be printed on the screen. Hence, the output of this program is no name. I hope it is clear how logical not with a string works. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is logical not with a list, dictionary or tuple. If a list, dictionary or tuple is empty, then the not operator will return true. Just like string, if a list dictionary or tuple is empty, then only the not operator will return true. For example, let's consider the list of names John, Mike and Sarah. So, I have created this list and names variable is pointing to this list. Now, let's say we will print no names if the names list is empty. Otherwise, we will print the length of the list. So, let's check this condition. If not names, this means that if names list is empty, then in that case, print no names. Otherwise, print there are a total of len names names. So, this entire string will be printed on the screen. Here, len names will be replaced by the length of this list on the screen. 
as this list is not empty therefore the else part will be evaluated and therefore there are a total of three names will be printed on the screen because length of the names list is three as there are three names in this list therefore the output of this program is there are a total of three names now what if the list is empty in that case this condition is satisfied because not of the empty list will return true therefore no names will be printed on the screen therefore the output of this program is no names i took this list in this example you can take a dictionary or a tuple and the same concept is applied here we just need to remember that if a list dictionary or tuple is empty then the not operator will return true so whatever we have seen in this example is for the list but it is equally applied to the dictionary and the tuple so with this we are done with this topic and this means that we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one